My name is Herbert Carolina, and I was born in Germany, September 3rd, 1926. I come from a family of six, my two sisters, a brother and myself and my parents. We had a retail shop, a grocery shop, and uh, it did very well. I used to love to play soccer, but uh, when Hitler came to power, the boys playing soccer, instead of hitting the ball, they hid in my legs. And when I came home, it was black and blue. My mother said, no more soccer for you. When the Kristallnacht came, November 9, 1938, everything changed. For two days beginning on November 9th, 1938, the windows of Jewish-owned businesses were smashed and looted. Jewish synagogues were burned, and Jews were physically assaulted. The two days of violence and destruction would become known as Kristallnacht, the night of broken glass. The pogrom was supposed to look like a spontaneous response to the assassination of a German embassy official in France named Ernst von Roth by a Jewish refugee, Herschel Greenspan. But in reality, the events were sanctioned and organized by Joseph Goebbels, Germany's Minister of Propaganda. I remember my father went down to the store and all of a sudden we hear him screaming, somebody broke in the store. We all went downstairs. The soap was completely ransacked. Everything was upside down. The windows were broken. Then another man came and said, the synagogue is burning. My father and myself, we went there. The barn shirt had a barn fire, all the prayer books. And then somebody threw the Torah in the fire. So my father was trying to retreat it. But they kicked him and we wouldn't let him. We went back to the store and somebody came said the sub is coming up to pick up the whole family. We didn't know what to do. We waited. When they came they picked up only my father and took him away. My father and all the other people from the village were all taken to Buchenwald. The only way to get him out is to we have to show that we leave Germany in the next, I think, six months. We had to sell the business and the house. The Gestapo came and told us so and so much for the house, so and so much for the business, and we had to take it or leave it. And that's the way my father came out from Buchenwald. When he came out, I didn't recognize him. They shaved him, they, they beat him up. He was there for three weeks, but he never told me exactly what happened there at that time. During Kristallnacht, more than a thousand synagogues were burned. 7,000 Jewish businesses were ransacked. 91 Jews were killed and 30,000 Jewish men were deported to concentration camps, such as Buchenwald and Dachau. This was but one step in the systematic dehumanization of Jews under Nazi rule. Since Hitler's rise to chancellor in 1933, Nazi legislation prevented Jews from going to school, working in civil service, and marrying non-Jewish Germans. By 1935, with the passing of the Nuremberg Laws, Jews were not even considered citizens under German law. There was no future for us in Germany. And we children, we wanted to leave. But for my parents, it was very difficult to leave a country where for a century they lived there and had a business and start a new life with four children. I know that, I know this guy could feel it. 
My mother and father bought six permits to go to Havana, Cuba. And we got a ship. They sent me. I've never been on a big ship. I've never been on the ocean. And when I saw it, it was in heaven. We left Germany on May 13, 1939. We arrived in Havana. We had our suit because it's all prepared. Then all of a sudden the Cuban police came up and said, we have to check your papers. So we waited one day, two days. The first Spanish word I learned was mañana. But mañana never came. We sent telegram all over the world. Nobody wanted us. The captain said, I'm going to cruise in the state of Florida. Maybe the American will let us you in. I was 12 years old, and I happened to see Miami Beach. I said, I would love to love you someday. Well, it took me a long time to get around here. We had to go back to Europe. Countries around the world turned the St. Louis away until it eventually returned to Europe. Herbert and his family disembarked in France, but were separated during the war. When World War II ended in 1945, only Herbert and his brother Walter had survived. Their mother, father, and two sisters all died in Auschwitz. Hitler and the Nazis preyed on people's fears and anger, directing it against anyone perceived as different, including the Jews. This sentiment would eventually lead to the Holocaust, during which more than six million Jews and others were systematically murdered. If it had not been for the events set in motion by Kristallnacht, Herbert's family may have survived. <laughs> 